Hello and welcome to Blender video tutorial number 31 and I'm going to be teaching you how to do this. Um, no, this is not a mesh. Uh, this is a picture on a plane. Okay? Uh, that's what it is right there. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to set this up and render it just like this. So, to start out with, I'm just going to use it. It's the best thing I know that's free. So, to start out with, go to File, New, and go to the advanced tab under the advanced tab it says fill with make sure you hit transparency that's all you have to do so fill with and hit transparency once you've done that hit OK and it'll bring this up and you'll have a tiled background if you haven't messed with some settings and um, <clears throat> now you've got your tiled background all you have to do is put what you want on there so so for what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna write test okay using my mouse so it's not the best alright so just like that uh, once you've done this uh, all you have to do is go to file and save as um, I'm just gonna say this is test as well the name goes here hopefully you know GIMP a little bit um, select file type by extension and just come down to where it says uh, should say PNG image and it says PNG over here so select your PNG which will pack your data for the uh, transparency background and once you've done that just hit save uh, I already did this once so that's why um, save as PNG uh, all these are fine just leave them uh, if this is down the compression level just set it as high as it goes and hit OK I'm gonna just minimize the GIMP down a little bit um, there's our test okay uh, it won't show up as an image alright so don't worry about that all you have to do delete the default cube add mesh plane scale it up you can set this to a cube and stuff but it doesn't matter when I go to object mode okay add this as new I'm just gonna do this right here through the buttons okay add the new set the alpha to zero hit Z transparent um, add a new texture oh what's going on okay uh, hit your texture uh, where it says uh, the texture type hit image load go to your desktop or wherever you saved your PNG oh, what? I accidentally reclick button okay go to desktop and there it is test PNG so just click on it select image and once you've done that uh, it's loaded now to get it to work right you have to hit the use alpha under map image it's right here in your texture panel Use mat, uh, use alpha, and it says clip cube. Hit that, okay. So you have extend clip, just clip cube. I'm not sure if that's necessary, but as far as I know, it is. Go back to your materials button, where it says map to. Hit the um, alpha button in there, okay. Once you've done all that, hopefully that went too fast, but I don't feel like making a series. Once you've done that, and you can change the uh, map input uh, to position it in the right area. Uh, as you want. So after you've done all those settings, all you have to do is hit F12 and uh, it'll render up. Alright, there it is. Um, another thing, you can kind of see the edge here. I don't know if you can on YouTube because of the quality uh, value, but all you have to do is go to your select your uh, thing you're doing, go to shaders, bring down speculation and hard to zero bring down the, the reflection a little bit and you won't be able to see the the uh, edge set this to white too that stuff doesn't really matter just helps if if uh, it is visible okay so once you've done that that plane is completely invisible this is really uh, helpful helpful in um, using low poly stuff if you want uh, like a picture of a tree or something without having to model a tree in the background that's what this is mainly used for. Um, you would set this up in the game engine, as, but it would just be called a sprite. Uh, just the same way you spell the drink sprite. Okay, so there you go. That's pretty cool. Hope you found it useful.